So I want to go back to this uh, issue of the, uh, the daunting prospect of the, the pathway through higher education because um, uh, Ms. McGee noted uh, the, the, the impact on, on home ownership and how that re decreases wealth. But has anyone got a handle on how the message to our working class high school students that there may not be a pathway for you to thrive might affect, if you will, the way they, they pursue their high school studies? In other words, why work hard in high school if there isn't a pathway in which those grades matter to be able to go to college? Do we, are we seeing kind of reverberations back into high school in terms of uh, the motivation of our students? And this, of course, would be a, a very, uh, maybe much harder issue to quantify, but, but it, it's kind of um, a, a huge uh, impact on the future success of the next generation. There's good news there and there's bad news. First, the good news is that um, young people today are more determined to go to college than ever. They know how important it is to a middle class life and that the vast majority of young people who graduate from high school do go on to some sort of college. Um, the bad news is that there are at least 100,000 um, young people who graduate from college who are well qualified, I'm sorry, graduate from high school who are well qualified to go to college who don't go, do, don't apply to school because simply of the cost. More often what happens though is that young people do go on to college, they work 20 hours a week while they're in school, there is a lot of unmet costs for transportation and housing and in many cases childcare. They end up having to take cl classes at community colleges where because community college uh, spending has actually been declining because of those state college uh, investment co um, cuts, they're actually have tr trying to work very hard to get enough credits to finish and that they drop out of college and the number one reason cited for dropping out of college is financial pressures. And we know that according to a recent Economic Policy Institute study, nearly half of low wage workers have some college. So it's not that people are being dispirited. They are going to college in record numbers. It's that we as an American people have given up the sense that this is a public good and that there should be a shared contract. I think it's important, very important to deal with the existing over trillion dollars in student loan debt, refinance it, open back up the doors to bankruptcy for a second chance for people with private student loans and I would even say federal loans. But most importantly, I think we should start with the assumption that the greatest middle class the world has ever known was made with debt-free college. And we should have to justify why this large, diverse generation should have to go into any debt at all from working a middle class to, be, uh, to get a higher education. So here we are in a world knowledge economy where America's ability to thrive is going to depend on education and we're making it far more expensive to get that education. 